the Frankenstein button. We are live. We are what some might call living. Yes, but we're also hi, alive. and welcome to my TED talk for the next thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You would do that, Ian. <laughs> what, do a 30-minute TED Talk on the uh, concept of living? Yes. Ah, uh, okay, good. I did it. <sighs> I was like, did I not update the information on the stream thing? Yes, I did. Too many days ago. <sighs> yes. And Chris was on a phone call. Oh, well. Well, shit. Well... Mm. How about? Oh, uh, welcome, people. I guess to the Great Hunt. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm definitely in full control of all my mental faculties. Yes, you are. But that's okay. Thank you. Um. Right. Um. Last session, y'all. Fought and killed the Packmaster. Packmaster, yes. We have defeated him and his doggy menace. We have sent him back to the pound. We put an end to the not so good boy. To the bad dog. The character she updated and it looks weird. That's not what I'm used to. It's cleaner. I updated. like it. But hmm, I didn't notice. Neither did I. What got updated? It just looks, it looks cleaner. Like the the things are more square. You know. Plus, there's the whole red SRD five in the top corner. Oh, I didn't notice that. Hmm. Now that you mention it. I don't see what you're talking about. I don't know. I might be going crazy. Like be. like the other resources were more square. And they're more rectangle now. It looks the same to me, but that's just me. Mm. I do think it's the same. Like I said, I might be just going crazy, but I feel like everything has gotten a little wider. And tell me, Kayla, do you see the odd, the oddly rectangular resources now? <laughs> How about now? <laughs> I can just put this other earphone in and completely not be able to hear you guys at all. <laughs> um, are we do, are, 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 do we do journals for this this so, uh, yeah. session? Or, yeah, everything's there gotten a little bit wider. I swear, everything is just a little more wider. Maybe it's your eyesight. No, because it's like not. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time, Kayla. Listen, Dean's not here, so stop it. <laughs> no arguing for the sake of arguing. Like, even, remember the money had the little pictures of the money, and now there's no pictures. Uh, actually, they're here. The yeah. Pictures of the money are here. I still have them. That might just be a, that might just be a hiccup on, on your Roll20 loading. Yeah, okay, I'm looking on. at your character sheet and there are pictures of money. Money. Money, 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 money. Oh, I have the freaking snipping tool. Duh. All right. So who's got journals? Apparently I haven't been doing journals, I don't think. Yes, you have. I just can't find any. Uh, let me just go through all of them. Let me see. I know I wrote something down. Somewhere. I know. I did not. Uh, 
I got nothing. So. Yeah, I can't find mine. I could make something up off the top of my head, though. My standards are pretty low when it comes to journals. Are you sure that's the only thing, Ian? Huh. No. Hey, <laughs> 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 Fucking got him. <laughs> 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 Fucking got me, I guess. Let's not do that. We we're about to do something stupid. Okay? Okay. <laughs> You're right. You're right. <laughs> uh, I guess if I were to make something up, it would be something along the lines of... <clears throat> <clears throat> well... That demon dog thing was uh, kind of creepy. If if this is what the uh, kind of base boss level missions are going to be like, I'm a little uh, nervous to see what the other ones are going to be like. Uh, but so far, this wasn't too hard, so we must be one of the stronger groups in the area. If others have been uh, oh. have been dying to it. Maybe we'll be able to run this town someday. Who knows? That would be it. Yeah, I think I've just been uh, freeballing these because I just see that I do have three inspiration. Okay. Um, I'll go next. Oh, it was so nice to be able to stretch my legs and fight for a little bit. Honestly, I kind of wish the fight would have lasted a little longer. At least a dog's dead. And then I don't have to worry about... Maybe I don't have to worry about other dogs being dead. I feel like that it's not... Like, isn't there a way you're supposed to kill these things to make sure they're dead dead? Because I don't think that just killing it here makes it dead. Maybe it does. I'm not an expert. At least Adelaide will harvest... And do all the gruesome, nasty bits for me. As of now, I'm going to go do the fun bits of raiding all these people's houses. That's all I got. All right. Well done. I ain't got shit. Well, then I guess that's it. All right. So the corpses lay before you. Yeah, my character mm -hmm. sheet is definitely different than what I'm used to. It's weird. Moving on. Moving on. So I believe Adelaide was the one that said she was going to harvest what we needed for proof. And me and Cassius uh, decided to go raid the houses. Mm -hmm. Yes. At least the ones oh. that weren't directly on fire. Which yeah. is what you said you were going to do, is figure out what these people owned. Yeah, because he said what a bunch of those swamp hobos would own. But the houses look nice, in my opinion. They they got a road, they got a well, with a road that leads to the well. Like They're doing pretty good for some hobos. In the middle of a swamp. In the middle of a swamp. Which uh, which house do you want to start with? This one was on fire, right? I believe so. And that one was as well? Yes. So it's just these two? Or is it these three that aren't on fire? I believe that one was also on fire. Yeah. Okay. Let's start with the closest one then. The dark roof. Mm-hmm.
we'll go exploring through there. I'll let you know that's a beautiful shotgun, by the way. Thank you. I appreciate it. Do you really think now is the time to flirt? It's always the time to flirt, sweetheart. Now, I appreciate where you're saying that out loud. I was flirting with her. Oh. Really wasn't flirting with you, but... Oh. If you take it that way, take it that way. She's not going to judge you. Fair. Also, isn't she using Fair. a rifle, not a shotgun? <laughs> he was using a shotgun to do the fireball, wasn't he? Yes. Yes, I was. Uh, I, I must remember some one. things. Yeah, she was definitely not talking to me. I was talking to you when I said it, you said oh. it's not the time to flirt, and then I told you it was always the time to flirt. Oh. We walk into the house. Yeah, this we go into the house. The house has been gone into. We have entered the building. Character on her toes ready to see if like any like, leftover little demon thingy is trying to attack her. Um, there are no extra little hostiles for you guys to deal with. Nothing for us to shoot. I mean, I mean, that's nothing. Alive. You can shoot stuff if you want to. Yeah, I don't think we should bother destroying their belongings. Not much sense in it. Might as well take what we want, though. Anything useful? Do we find anything useful or interesting wandering the house? I'm just doing basically a look around the house, like going room to room. Not really. I'm not really going through anything yet. Just trying to see if anything piques my interest before I start. Yeah. Uh, nothing particularly that's like standing out, like out in the open. Um. I'm guessing they're kind of plain rooms with just like bed, a couple dressers, and stuff like that. Yeah, pretty much. Um, if there is anything valuable in there, you probably have to probably have to look for it. Yeah, I'll start looking for valuable stuff. Anything interesting? I will assist him if I can. <clears throat> All right. Uh, one of you make a intelligence investigation check with advantage. I feel like you're going to be better at this than I am. You would be surprised. Do you have higher than a one? No. Okay, I guess I'm doing it with the bench. <laughs> <laughs> the two worst people to investigate. Literally. Twelve. At least what's the natural one? All right. <laughs> That's something. Oh god, this is the generator that generates large piles of wheels of cheese. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> That's Why are you rolling a Skyrim loot generator? <laughs> well, in the, one of the cupboards you find seven wheels of cheese. God, these Thank people god. eat way too much cheese. <laughs> this is what drove so the demons good. here, I promise you that. <laughs> oh. oh my yeah I, I can't imagine any of this stuff is really all that good I mean I'm gonna take one and smell it see if it smells it okay smells like, smells like good cheese well um <laughs> your investigation was just enough so when you notice inside the cabinet um, it looks like the uh, back panel is removable. 
Yeah. Noise, noise. And when you remove it, there is a small like wall safe built in behind the cab. <sighs> behind the cabinet. You know what's funny? Hmm. It, uh, does it appear locked? It's a wall safe. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there is a combination. Is a, there is a combination. Mm hmm. Does it seem like it could be it could be pulled out, or is it I mean, built into the wall? Currently, it's like set into the wall. With some time, you could like break the wall around it. True. Is there any spells that I could use that would uh knock? Not like not like I, I that does yeah that would be a lovely idea, um, but spells that I could use that would damage the vault enough for me to just be able to open it up. You know, like anything that would make it cold or hot or cause physical damage. You got heat metal. Way. Nope. I, I have a feeling multiple, uh, I was gonna multiple say fire bolts and ray of frosts will heat it up and cool it down quite nicely. I have fire it just bolts. just may take a few minutes. It's like thermal shock it. Yeah. To, yeah. to break the lock. Yeah. yeah. Might as well give it a shot, right? Do you it's have not like we're wasting much time here. Do you have um, like a ray of frost or anything like that? Because I have I firebolt. Do. I, I do. Have, there we go. I'll firebolt it a bunch, and he'll ray and of frost it a bunch. Yep. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll rinse and repeat until it looks like it's doing something. If it looks like it's doing something. Okay. <laughs> um. So five yes. minutes go by. Oh God. Of wow. you guys. All I hear is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just hear like spells being cast from the inside. The same two spells repeated over and over again for five minutes. I yeah. do have to take. I, I do have to take magic as well. Not sure. <laughs> I want to point that out. Giving it a shot. <laughs> do you have like thieves' tools or something? Nope. My character. I picked a character that's not roguish. Just putting that on the record. <laughs> and oh, it's biting me the in the one, butt the one time. The I one don't... time. <laughs> I do have detect <laughs> magic, though, and I probably would have done that, um, you know, before all this to scan the room, just so you know. I can show you. But I, I don't think I'd cast it as a ritual. I think I'd have to, like, actually cast it. I don't think I'd get ritual casting. No, I do. Or, no, don't. What are you? A sorcerer and a paladin. Sorcerer. Hmm. Um, usually you can... Let's see. Sorcerer, I think. Because I know druids can and clerics can. Can I do what now? Do ritual uh, casting. Ritual casting. Oh, um, technically any spell cat or it'll some... it'll say nah, it's a specific one. Um, but... oh, as long as you have the ritual caster feet, yeah, you can. Yeah, I know wizards can too. Wizards can you can do rituals without having the spell prepared, but like yeah. druid, it's like yeah, sorcerers it specifically don't have ritual says ritual casting, casting but you have to have the yeah. spell prepared. Well, I physically cast it. I have the spell slot for it. Yeah. Um. Just to get a scan around the room. But yeah, we did. did it, um. First off, did did anything ping up when I did that? Nope. Okay. Cool. Did uh we get the, the safe <laughs> with our five minutes of five minutes of of uh trying to thermal shock the the safe's lock open. I'll say for the hell of it, yields a successful result. Because <laughs> nobody's a rogue. 
Yeah. Unless Adelaide's rogue and we don't know it. Yay, with five minutes of preparation, we can get through small metal doors. <laughs> small, cheap safes. Yep. That somebody in the middle of the swamp had in their tiny, tiny home. Tiny Curious home. What, what they would have in a safe now. In their uh, house. Well, more oh, wheels well. of cheese. More <laughs> wheels of cheese. <laughs> Slightly melted. <That's> Slight- <laughs> melted and frost, froze bitten. <laughs> Froze bitten? Frost. Frost bitten. <laughs> well, uh, inside there's a jade pitcher. Ooh, pretty. Mm, filled yeah. with liquid cheese. <laughs> filled with liquid cheese. <laughs> it's fondue, actually. Get it right. Uh, I'm sorry. Cold I'm on culture. She filled. Here. A jade pitcher? Shit. Oh, well. I didn't want to inspect, I wanted to paste. There we go. Damn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. 150 gold, basically. Mm hmm. Wow. They had a decent amount of stuff. I'll take the mirror and just like, admire myself for a second. You're now cursed. I'll take the, I'll take the goblet. Put the ivory locket around my neck. I'll grab the rest of it and cool. continue searching. E. Um. I'll take a few wheels of cheese too. <laughs> <laughs> Just to walk out. <laughs> Swamp when cheese. we want, when, when I go to leave, I'll I'll grab a few wheels of cheese and see if any of the others want any. But I'm going to continue searching first. Yeah. Like under the bed, in closets, and drawers. I will allow one more investigation check. I'm st- I'm also st- like if it spent five minutes to do the whole pew 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 pew. Maybe I still have like my detect magic up to make sure do another loop around the room or the house. Probably. Maybe. Oh, yeah. are you detecting magic? Well, I I just assumed because it lasts for ten minutes, so I assumed it's still up. Right, it is. So she runs around the house, making sure nothing is magical. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly, the wheels of cheese ping is magical. Yes, it is a uh... a mystical cheese of destruction. Cheese of regeneration. If you lose a limb, you eat the cheese and it grows back like Deadpool. I'd actually be super down with this. Same. (laughs) I will grab every wheel of cheese and shove it into the bag of holding. (sighs) So if you eat too much of it, does it just make you like like a lizard? You end up, um, like, if you had, without you knowing, like, a twin attached to your insides, it actually just regenerates the twin and you die. And your twin takes over. Oh, no. Yeah. It's a very specific situation. You know, maybe we'll leave the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Only in D&D. Do you want me to make the investigation check, Ian? Uh, or do you want Casrius to do it? Intelligence check with investigation proficiency. I'll give it a shot, I guess. Just as good as me. Yeah. You literally rolled like one up on me. Yeah, pretty much. Anything else, DM? Um, underneath the bed, you find a pouch with 50 gold pieces in it. Sweet. Oh, yeah. More money. More money. Okay. I'll come back out tossing up the gold pouch. 
Found 50 gold. Not even close to rich. <laughs> Everybody gets 50 gold that way, though, so you can give yep. someone 50 gold and another person two <clears throat> items. I have my mirror and my ivory locket. Um, what's the range? I'll hold on to the goblet. 30 feet. Uh, um, you do get a ping of a magic. Of the magics. Cool, where? Um, out of uh, the back at the first, of uh, the, uh, no, the first, the, uh, Oh, yeah, not the first house. This house? So like, yeah, like around back. Okay, I'll, I'll go around back while he's passing that stuff out. And right. try to pinpoint it. Um, it is buried slightly underground. Like, you just, like, look at the ground and you just see, like, this, like, little, like, aura radiating from, like, a few feet underneath the ground. Move Earth would be so helpful. Um, do I have a shovel? Let's see. You get one in an explorer's pack? I believe so. Um, I have an explorer's pack and a monster pack, so maybe hopefully one of those. If one of those have a shovel, I would to dig up a hole. Did I get, uh, because I think, yeah, do you know what school of magic it is, or is it obvious to me? Because it might not be. I I think it would be under enchantment. Okay. Anyway, an explorer's pack does not come with a shovel, unfortunately. However, this is a community of swamp folk. You could probably find a shed with uh, some basic groundworking tools. Turns up, turns out they're all druids. They just use move earth. <clears throat> hey, underrated cantrip. Um. Yeah, I will. I will look for a shovel. All right, make another investigation check. <laughs> Intelligence check, basically. Yeah, you find a shovel. Cool. I don't have a shovel, but I have a crowbar. <laughs> crowbar. I mean, with that determination, that could work. <laughs> that can work too. Okay, and then I start digging up the hole. All right. You dig about two and a half feet underground, and then you hit metal, mm -hmm. and you sweep around dirt, and you see uh, the hilt of a sword. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Um, you Our grab it, one? and it is clearly still attached to some form of blade. Mm -hmm. um, Yay. So you pull it out of the ground. Mm -hmm. You are now king of Camelot. King of Britain. <laughs> king of the swamp. Except king of the swamp. <laughs> it's like, you're, you're the king of Britain, but only like those really shitty swampy areas of Britain. So, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. I can't stop yawning and, and like tearing okay. up. We'll All right. It. Got a this... question. Okay. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. So it is a magical plus one great sword. Cool. Which it has a rough and evil look to it, suggesting demonic handiwork. Fuck that I was shit. Gonna, I, was, I got to tech good and evil uh, ready. <laughs> and I was thinking about using it. Okay. <laughs> looks like I might not need <laughs> But to. it looks evil, so. <laughs> um, it just has an evil feeling. Um, I got a feeling. And when you hold the sword, you hear a whispery voice in your head, uh, encouraging acts of malevolence. My dude, if you were a plus three, I like she's talking to the sword. <laughs> My dude, if you were a plus three, I would think about it, but I got a plus two waiting on me at home. <laughs> she puts it in her pack, but she definitely does not attune to it at all. No. It's okay, sweetheart. I'll find someone for you. We'll give it to uh, Eve. Eve Sturman. Eve Sturman. <laughs> I think Eve will like it. <laughs> Cor Blimey, that's a wonderful looking sword you got there. <laughs> Eve, where'd you come from? <laughs> oh, um, the chasing, chasing them <laughs> crocodilians! <laughs> no, it's just like... It's... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like this scene. It's like you just see like a head sticking out of the ground. It's the it's the fucking scene where uh, Midoriya meets the uh Oh the the oh, the, the, oh, the, God, the upper classman. Yeah, the upper classman. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Man, who knew Vault Boy would get so big? Okay, so Um, I've handed out the other. I've handed out the other trinkets. Who wants the jade pitcher worth twenty five gold? Between I'll the two take, of you guys, I'll or take the you? pitcher and the goblet. Okay, who wants the polished wood figurine and the fur handkerchief or fifty gold? Why don't we just have one person hang on to all this to sell? And then we'll divvy out the gold afterwards. I'm thinking about keeping the goblet. I was. I, I'm kind of a fan of the ivory necklace. But if you want me to sell the other two things for you, I have no problem doing that. Oh. Put it in my bag unless someone objects. Not a problem. Okay. Um. And then I start to move on to the other house. And I will follow. If I still have a little bit of detect magic up, I'm sure it's probably gone by now. But if I did, I would make a circle around the house first. No, it's gone. Well, I use another spell slot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh. Alright then. Sorry. Well, this uh, entire time, Father Jed isn't even taking part in like the whole looting. He's basically just staying outside, making sure nothing slinks out of the woods and surrounds whatever house they go into. Um, you don't sense anything else magical. Do I feel like I need to go into the house to see about the interior, or am I, mean, I confident? Well, I mean, you just don't sense anything magical. So find things that have material worth. Okay, we'll go in the house. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, feel free to make another investigation check. I'll see what I can find. Nope. Besides a book of fairy tales um, that was sitting out on top of a table, you don't really see anything really of value. Oh. And let me be clear, it is a tale that fairies tell about humans so literal fairy tales oh that's actually kind of interesting I'm gonna take that book maybe it'll come in uh, handy later with all the fae running around Now in my uh, bag of holding. I didn't find anything of interest in here. Except this book of fairy tales. And that's it. Yeah, Jason's gonna call from outside. Wait, <clears throat> are we done here? It was only two of the buildings were still standing, right? Mm-hmm. Everything else is on fire. Yeah, okay. I guess so. All right, let's make let's make our way back then. 
Yeah. I th I was thinking that we should uh let the other let the uh, two gentlemen who ferried us here know that we're all done. I am covered in viscera and I do not like to track this through the swamps. So I am going to fast travel. If you don't mind. Understandable. Um, Adelaide, uh, you know that from what you've been told in the dossier is that you require either the head or the heart or both. I have both, man. All right, make a survival check. The head you can easily cut off. That's not the issue. It's seeing if you can extract the heart without horrifically damaging it. And, oh boy, do you ever G -G. extract that shit. <laughs> mm hmm it's uh, gross an 18 and, and an 18. gnarled and black and twisted and corrupted nothing natural looking about this doggo's heart oh. so you have both the items you need to bring back uh, you know that they will use these items in a banishing ritual to get rid of it gotcha once that ritual is completed then uh but some of the body will just crumble to dust and disappear. Huh. All right. Well, I will see many of you later, if anyone's not coming with. Father Jed, are you going? I'll stick. I'll stick around until the rest. Until the rest of us make our way back. Fair enough. I think Iris was saying she was going to walk back as well. At least part of the way. Well, hurry back because you're paying for the first round. And I activate my transportation thingy and disappear. Ooh. <clears throat> Didn't expect that. <laughs> but yeah. all right. So... The air around Adelaide begins to warp and twist, and eventually just whoop, poofs out of existence as a lingering smell of sulfur and some other noxious gas is left behind. Is it basically like a fart left behind? Jeez. <laughs> no, it doesn't smell like fatune. It's just like some sort of like like really like chemically smelling like gas mm -hmm. that like quickly disperses after a few seconds. Yeah. Huh. Strange smell. But pleasant compared to what everything else smells like out here. Good luck traveling through the swamp with that ranger. Good. They point. don't actually have that far to go. Assuming any of you know which direction north is. <laughs> uh. <laughs> May I try a survival? <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll see what I can do to help out with that. <laughs> Motherfucker, Jen. Oh, nice. Oh, God. All right. Okay. I take about that back. I didn't realize you had a higher survival than I do. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. yeah. Look, Jed, oh, his entire thing is hunting the unnatural. I know, Go but I'm a ranger. Hunt? What are we hunting? Uh, that was just to figure out which way's north. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, so you know that the uh, that the 
you're actually like fairly close to uh, the river's edge. And it's just a matter of figuring out which direction is north so that you know to go east. Or which way is east. So yeah, you've only got like a mile, not even, to go to get to the river's edge. All right. Oh, wait, actually, no. You got a little bit further. Because this is... Yeah, one mile. I guess we'll follow Father Jed. Father Jed leads. Did Cassius and I ever talk about getting the people in the boot? Nope, that's a conversation that happened out of character. Yeah. On the, uh, it is currently me, you, and Father Jed walking back to the river. And Adelaide left? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bamfed out because I was covered in viscera and I had the head and heart of the packmaster. And she desperately wanted a bath. Alright. Um, somebody roll me a d20. 12 or higher spawns an encounter. Roll a one. Mm, 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 mm. I'm doing it. Okay, okay. good. I was about to. Was <laughs> yes. All right, no encounter. No encounter. Good for us. Yeah. So you guys make those, it to uh, the river's edge with no issues. I thought it was going Wonderful. this way. Considering. Oh no, we pop up there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought we came here for a second, but no, we came. No, here. you guys. Yeah, you guys came. Gotcha. Down from the other, other mouth of the river. I hope they're doing all right, considering all the uh, crocodilians around. They did say that they would wait a few hours and then leave, so. Has it been a few hours? Mm, I think so. Like, if they hadn't heard from us in a while, they would leave. All right, we've got these uh, flares. Might as well shoot one up to see if uh, they can come find us. And I'll take I'll take my flare and shoot it up. All right. So you guys shoot off the flare. To summon the boatman. Mm-hmm. Has there been any conversation about with like Father Jedediah? I don't know how fatherly he is. So I don't know if y'all have had conversations on the way here or not. What do you mean by how fatherly he is? <sighs> Popey. Uh, how, how, how pious oh. is he? Yeah. Because oh, well. my character would have casually said, so, do we have a plan with this boatman? And just kind of looked at Kazarius, and then glanced mm-hmm. at Father Jedediah, and then back to Kazarius. Why the fuck is your well. first response murder? Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, they have been pretty nice, but I did like their boat. I was thinking it would would be nice if we could have it, but not have to pay for it at all. Or not. We're here to we're here to kill the unnatural, not people. How do we know that they're not unnatural? 
technically me and father know they're not unnatural. That's just sad now. <laughs> <laughs> like it's eyes just like shoots from one to the other. My All character has not said anything yet. She just asked what the plan was. Yeah. I I never said anything about taking the boat from him. I was just saying it would be nice to have a boat like theirs. Good, then keep it that way. This says it's keeping an eye out, like not even looking at either of you through the whole conversation. Yeah. I just end up rolling my eyes and looking at Iris. Yeah. Uh... I'm sure they'll be uh, real helpful to us through all these adventures. But I'm surprised you wanted to go with us, Father. It's better to make sure make sure two of us don't get picked off because we split up. See, I think we're mighty f uh, capable of handling ourselves. You say that until something comes, until something comes in that suddenly you're not so capable of dealing with. Just because you took down one of them doesn't mean you could take down all of them. True, but that's Very what teleportation magic is for. You'd rather me leave? I I will. No, no. No, I enjoy your company. I was just expecting you to want want to get back. You don't seem like much, too much like the type to be uh, roughing it all the time. I, ru I roughed it plenty in my life. I can keep going. Good to hear. Good to hear. I think you'll have to tell us a couple stories over drinks later. Because apparently one of us is paying. I don't know who she was talking about. I think she was talking about you. Oh, there. Drinks later? We can have drinks now. What are you talking about? That's true. And I'll go ahead and get out a bottle of alcohol. And start <laughs> drinking. I have that moonshine. And I also have those happy hour healing potions that get you drunk and heal you. Oh which I'm God, assuming we haven't those. had a rest yet. So I need a little bit of healing. If you want to take your potion, go for it. I'm I've got good. two of them. If anyone needs one. Right now, I'm good. But, uh... And that decision is why Jed stayed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you drink, Father? Occasionally, just not... Just not when I'm... When I'm in... Just looks around enemy territory. Father, have you ever been to war? Yeah, there, there are a few definitions of war. Probably not the kind you're mentioning. Probably not. I was just uh, a little curious because the way you talk makes it sound like you have you've been you've seen a lot of shit. That I have. I may not have gone to war against against a country or anything like that, but. Let's just say I've seen enough. All right. Don't they all have to ask you about the names on your gun? Wait, you said that out loud? She didn't say the name. She just said the. She yeah. didn't say the specific names, but yeah. Oh no, yeah, no. I was just talking about just the the, the what's it called? Sense in general, but uh -huh. it just it just look at you. He won't even respond to that. Just back to looking out. <laughs> hmm. Understandable. Oh, um. Whenever. Are we basically. Are we still waiting for the boat to get here? Still waiting. 
Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll, uh... I have a pearl of power. I'm just gonna activate it just to be safe. Um, and give me back a third level spell slot, and then I'm going to, uh, if I have enough time, I'm gonna try to switch and attune uh, back to my like little handkerchief of disguise. Uh. You'll just let me know if we've waited long enough for that to be a thing. Smart Sorry. idea. Sorry, what was the question? If we've got long enough to for her to uh, reattune to her handkerchief of disguise. While we're waiting for uh, the gentleman. Sure. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Take it's gonna take 94 days. Yes. Well, guess they died after like day three. Guess they're dead. Uh, for us to go home, <laughs> everybody make a perception check. All right, where are we? <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Is it Cthulhu? <laughs> no. Cthulhu. Are you sure? Cthulhu. Cthulhu. <laughs> Is that the Brooklyn version of Cthulhu? Yeah. Cthulhu for talking. It, what a wonderful phrase. Oh my god. <laughs> you see, it's like regular, regular Cthulhu, except he's louder, much more of an asshole, and will likely punch you in the face on the streets. It's your pass passing craze. It means your sanity. All right, so the two of you, everybody except Cassius, notices floating in the river. Don't you mean, but Father Jed? No. Jed. Oh. Oh yeah, Father Jed. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> yeah. I rolled high. Fuck Cassius. <laughs> say, if Cassius is at sea, none of us yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually uh, d yeah, we're actually going by golf rules now. Oh. oh. Is it percentile? <laughs> Uh. There's a uh, dirty glass jar bobbing along the water. <laughs> is it the same fucking glass jar? <laughs> Inside is a tiny old man. <laughs> How far out is it? Is it really what they rolled? Is they rolled that <laughs> encounter again? Yeah, 94 is the exact same encounter. <laughs> redemption. Tiny jar How redemption. Wait, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a glass jar with a tiny man inside. Last time we encountered it, we just tossed it back. Uh. <laughs> How far out is it, DM? I'm gonna say it's like ten feet out. I'm gonna use lightning lore to. Uh, oh wait, no. I'm going yeah, to uh, mage you. hand it back. I'm gonna grab it with mage hand. Okay. <laughs> I. I cast lightning lore. He'll be here, but he'll also be dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm man. I'm just going to hold it up in front of my face. Yep. It's the uh, hmm. same old man as before. Does he recognize us? <laughs> it's only been um, a few it hours. Like it. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's like, you, fuck, right. you goddamn fuckers put me back in the. Let me go! Uh, I, I'm gonna take you back to town. You just see him now. Let me out! Let me out! While he's banging on the glass wall. Nah. Yeah, instead of Eric Andre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold on to him. Completely ignore anything he says, but hold on to him. Okay. Why the hell don't, don't you just let him go? Because... Someone at back of town may pi pay a pretty penny for him. For a person in a jar. 
You have no idea what some people are into, buddy. That's not the issue here. <laughs> Father Joe is my new favorite person, I'm just saying. <laughs> Why, because he's the only one saying maybe we should maybe we shouldn't commit slavery? <laughs> Maybe we should con- we shouldn't commit murder. Maybe we shouldn't commit slavery. Yeah. Look, this thing don't have more li- more limbs than it should, or have a, or you know, look like a demonic malformation of life. Let's not be a dick to it. <laughs> mm, I mean, don't you think he'd be safer in town, anyways, than out here, where he could just get get eaten up by any of the hundreds of creatures running around. If that were the case, the jar would have been eaten long ago. He could be Maybe. He could have just come through a portal recently. You're right. Let's find out what the hell he is before selling him in town. Fair enough. Iris is like adjusting the evil shoulder on her back (laughs) to make sure it's hidden properly. (laughs) <laughs> Talking about not selling bad stuff in a town. <laughs> oh. Have they uh, shown up yet, DM? So do you open it or? No. <laughs> no, I I hold on to the jar. But uh, do I have any idea of how much air he has in there? I would you say, yeah, you might want to open it, close it to, you know, just circulate the air. Yeah, I'll do does that. It look like, does it look like he's used the bathroom? Because if he's not he used the filthy. bathroom... He is filthy. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> just, uh, yeah. How much does... Put how a little big water in there and shake it up. <laughs> Pour the water uh, out. How, how big is he? He's tiny. Tiny? Could I grab him with mage hand? Like, he himself. Unless opening the jar does something. Mm. I'll open the Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. We're going to make this fairly easy. Father Jed's going to do a a divine sense just on him in the jar. Alright. Alright. Celestial. Yeah, let him out. What what is he? He looks is... at something let's just say he's he's of the gods. I'm gonna get real close to the man. I guess I'll open the jar and uh set it down on set it down on the ground. Alright. He uh, climbs out of the jar, laughs like a madman, and then runs and dives for the water. I'm going to try and catch him before he dives in. (laughs) Okay. Make a gravel check. Beat a 16. (laughs) <laughs> nope. Nope. Definitely not. Yeah, you just you go for him and you just dive into like a pit of mud. Just face first. Wait a minute, this ain't mud. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. And the tiny person leaps into the water. Are you still tiny? Yep. Um, swims out a little bit, dives in, or like dives underneath. Then, like a few seconds later, like shoots out and like flops like a fish in the air, and he dives back in. This repeats like a few more times, and then finally, um, out out of the uh, the water, um, <laughs> the figure changes to this like. 
insanely handsome looking man. Looks like he's like a Greek, like a chiseled like a Greek statue. Oh. <laughs> but like, oh. like, imagine like a Triton looking person, but like if he was carved like a Greek statue. <laughs> he's like, oh, ha, ha. thank you for freeing me. Fucking oh, all talked. might. No, it's. <laughs> oh, no. You know what? <laughs> that wasn't what I was channeling, but, well, not intentionally, at least. So he saved Small Might and got <laughs> Small Might. <laughs> small Might. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you, mortals, for freeing me! Never. A cursed a night hag cursed me with her fiendish curses! And I was. A small, weak-looking human inside of a tiny jar. But now that I have been returned to the swamp waters that birthed me, I have been returned to my true and glorious form. I'm trying so hard not to ask him, has he ever been told that he looks attractive until he starts talking? <laughs> <laughs> I am trying my best. <laughs> Iris is holding it in. Kazarus. What are your names, kind humans? I'm not a human. Mortals! Better. Na the name's Jedediah. And I'm Kazrius. Iris. Very well, Iris, Kazrius, and Jedediah. I will put in a good word to the folks back home, and the next time you try and you find yourselves in troubles on the water, you can expect to find a helpful ally in our fishy friends. So long, Excelsior! Oh, he dives into the water. <laughs> man. Louisiana smash. <laughs> Louisiana Smash. Actually, I was gonna say, uh, I was gonna say, uh, Stan Lee's cameos are getting more subtle every year. <laughs> you know, he was very forgiving of the fact that we totally just left him to rot the first time. Maybe he forgot. <laughs> Maybe he just likes to hear himself talk. With how his voice sounds, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and and he said he was birthed from the swamp waters. That is it's the, a nasty mama, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if I'd want to have anything to do with him. No offense meant to him, I guess. Eh, it's fine. Apparently, I guess we can rely on him if if something ever goes wrong. So I won't complain about it. Yeah. Sure so the three of you gain a boon. Um, the charm of animal conjuring. This charm allows you to cast a Conjure Animals spell, third level version, as an action. Once you use three times, the charm disappears. And it is limited to aquatic creatures. <laughs> <laughs> this is something one of us has on us? Each of uh, the three of you. Oh. It's a power to inside to? Of us. Or is it just it's a it's charm? It's just it's so it is a boon. Basically, you use it three times and then it's gone. Yeah. Cool. So this is a feature that you have access to uh, three times and then that's it. It's gone. Great. We're minor Aquaman. So the true so the true treasure was the fishy friends we made along the way. Yes. So hesitant heroism does have its perks. Sometimes. I mean. 
I guess that's what you can. Say. I guess that's one way you can put it. Uh, well, you could also just call it being a decent person. <laughs> yeah. I prefer to be a person that's alive than a decent person. Um, the amount of times that I've been burned by someone who said they were a decent person is more than I could count. I'll look over to Cassius with the most sincere look and be like, you definitely don't have to worry about me being a good person. And I'll just glance back at her like, hmm, good to know. Good to know. Pretty soon, Kazarius is going to get a little impatient and wonder where the uh, hell the guys are. Because he's not great at telling time. So everything feels like, like it's taking forever. Like half an hour has gone by. <laughs> um, eventually, though, you guys do see chugging its way up the river. The the boatman. I can't remember the name, so we're just going to call him Bob and Bobby Boatman. I love him. I thought it was Bobby and Billy. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. So yeah, Bobby and Billy Boatman arrive. Cool. And they pull up towards the shore. And the like metal reinforced door opens up and Bobby comes out. Hey, good to see you all still alive. Did you guys see like a weird big old fish man swim by? Real loud and obnoxious sounding. Mm, yeah. I think the whole swamp saw that. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't just us? Okay, good. No. You see, Billy, I told you I wasn't just saying things. Anyway, mm. come on. Let's get out of here. Space creep me out. Before any more large fishmen show up. <laughs> Honestly, I'm with you there. As nice as he was, I, I don't want to meet any more of his kind. Little, little too weird for the swamps. Well, now we'll get on the boat. Yeah. I as well. You really going to take the long way around, huh? You never know, Father Jed might get bored and leave. <laughs> you know he's uh, not. Yeah. <laughs> I might just bug him enough about the names on his shotgun that he leaves. I would like to sit by Father Jed. He's not going to say anything. She's just going to be quiet for the first little bit. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ian, you said uh, in the middle, no matter where we are in the boat, we can see all of us, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. However, the uh, the drivers of the boat are like in this, like, on the interior of the boat. Right. Um, did I get to put, I didn't know if you said yes or no in this because I had to walk away. Were, was I able to tune back to my hat of disguise? You said yes. I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would like to, um, I don't know what Cassius is doing. Uh, I'll wait till I get I'm posting a refresher picture of the boat in the uh, Great Hunt art. 
I'm uh, I'm pacing back and forth on the boat, just looking around for anything because I don't want to be surprised by a crocodilian this time. Um. Then at one point I will look at Father Jedd and ask him in celestial if he speaks the tongue. Yeah, just reply back in Celestial. Yep. <laughs> I thought he was going to go with duh. <laughs> what do you expect? Dude, people get Chinese written on them when they have no idea what kanji is. Like, Actually, I, yes. In fact, I in don't Japan, know it's super person. common to have English words tattooed on them, even though they have no idea what it means. Yep, Literally, it's you'll find, fantastic. You'll find people in Japan with the word fuck written on them. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is wonderful. I feel like I wrote it down, but I don't know where. My brother's been flipped off by Japanese kids. I had no idea what it meant. They just saw it on TV once. Hmm. Probably. DM the uh, how how loud of a noise was the. Um, was the return home stone the hearthstone? Um, not very loud. But like, was it was it a very specific specific noise? Say, would someone notice it if they heard someone leave? Probably. There is that smell, too. What smell? Do you suffer, like, oh, the sulfuric God. smell? <laughs> the what? <Jesus>. There's, <laughs> there's, like, a sulfuric smell. There is? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. It disperses after a few seconds. You know, there's only, and I, well, whatever's going on with Casuals, Iris would continue talking to Celestial, Father Jed, and said, there's usually only a, one or two reasons why people put in names on guns. Which is it for you? <clears throat> You'll just look at her and say, what reason you think it is? You seem too good to just kill two random people. Hmm. So they must have been someone you cared about. He just just stops for a second, nods. You'd be right. I'm just sitting there polishing my gun at the moment. You hear weird... See, I don't know what Celestia really sounds like. I just assume it, it sounds like sing-songy kind of... I imagine almost... sing-songy Latin. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine yeah. Like it's, it's not quite just like raw Latin, but like you can like you can pick up like bits of Latin from it, but it's a bit more like angelic. <laughs> <laughs> Not so uh, cultish, monotone Catholicism, though. I would hope. Um, what happened to him? <clears throat> I wasn't able to protect him. Just looks. He just looks down at a shotgun. Back up at her. She kind of cocks her head to the side, eyeing him up and down a bit. Were you trying to protect him, or were you protecting someone else when they got hurt? Hmm. 
of a hidden, just like cocked eyebrow <laughs> from behind the, the uh, blindfold. Just... <sighs> I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't there. I was off hunting elsewhere. Wife was watch was watching the daughter. Apparently something something got in there. Couldn't tell couldn't tell you what. I can't I came back. Entire house entire house is on fire and their body and their bodies were stuck to the wall. Does that satisfy your curiosity? Not really. Why on earth would you continue helping others when you know that's what got them killed in the first place? Helping others ain't what got them killed. <sighs> I hunt. I hunted so that I hunted more in a as a way to to keep less of the of those things in the world to be able to get at them. Fortunately, I'm only one man. Some slip through the cracks. Some would so, disagree with your methods. Some would. Fortunately, fortunately they won't they won't convince the others. The moonshine is out. I take a drink. It's that moonshine that you always make me do a constitution save and throw on. <laughs> and then I pass it. <laughs> and then I father it. I father it. I pass it to Father Jed. He's just going to hold his hand up. Still in enemy territory. Whatever you say. And she takes a second drink. Double the vomit. <laughs> My character is very, very hard for her. Like I, you have to pass like a. It's like eleven. What the fuck? Make a con save. Okay. Yeah, you pass. So you don't want to be. It doesn't force a vomit out of you. Yeah, she's she's gone. She had oh. to bring in the puppers. Oh. I'm assuming I'm okay. You failed horribly. You're Shut actually up. dead from alcohol poisoning. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> no, you're good. You just have to know your limits. Yeah, Jed's just gone completely silent. Kazarius, what are you doing? I'm sitting there, uh, polishing my gun, looking out at the water, singing a uh, soft sea shanty in Infernal. <laughs> if so anyone else words, understands. So in other words, you're singing metal. <laughs> yeah, um, what's, that, uh, what's that band called? God, there's a lot of different bands this could be. Yeah. Man, it's like, oh, God damn it. 
Cannibal oh. Corpse? No. It's like... <laughs> it did like... Sea Shanty inspired metal songs or something. Oh, oh, Alestorm. Yep. Alestorm, Alestorm, yes. Also, their also uh, their genre is called Scottish pirate metal. Yeah, there we go. go. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, he's just sitting there, uh, staring out to sea, or staring out at the uh, water, polishing the gun. Kind of with a blank stare, almost like he's. He, if you watch him for a couple of minutes, he's polishing the same spot on the gun over and over. Does he also have stuff engraved in his gun? No, he does not. There is nothing engraved on his gun. Ooh, what are these words on it? That's my. That's my grocery list. I don't have paper. <laughs> I'm sorry, I ran out of paper. I just had to carve this into my gun with a knife. So I wouldn't forget to pick up milk later. You see, you see, it makes people think I'm super hardcore, especially in another language. But I literally just, I just didn't feel like going to the store that day. Milk. Especially not Office Max. You see, you see one of them crossed out. You, you see... It reads cheese and infernal. <laughs> uh, no, there are no names. But after after a little bit, he uh, perks back up. Mm. Not back yet, I guess. You guys have a nice talk about whatever you were talking about. Differing opinions, she says, in common. Fair enough. Uh, you too much for the water? I prefer clearer waters than these. I. Me too. I would say so, Captain. Because you do look like a pirate, don't you? Yeah, I do. A pirate from like a hundred years ago. Yeah. He does. And uh, after a couple of minutes, he's like, you know what? I'm going to go for a swim real quick. And I'm just going to... Uh, Wait, how how is there a way to get down in the water from the boat? Uh, yeah. All right. You're not particularly set... high up. You're only like a like two feet above the water line. Yeah. Oh. He's gonna set his uh stuff down real quick. Jump in the water. Um, swim around the boat a couple times, and then come back up. Ah, that feels much better. And you notice him swim. At about as fast as he walks. So it doesn't take long. Uh, it was getting a little hot. But I don't want to stay in here too long. You just hear from days. inside the boat. It's like, you probably shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> I get back you out. You know him and the fish boy are real good friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> Uh, please, don't, please don't flex your pecs at me. That was really uncomfortable when you did that. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed to flex my pecs. <laughs> I'll, I'll just tell you not to do. God damn it. Oh, sorry, father. <laughs> Wave his hand at <laughs> I'm not very strong, so there's not much there to flex. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, con hey, Constitution also plays towards it if you have if you have a decent that. I do. I, I have pretty it. decent Constitution. I'm just realizing that the voice I'm doing with Scooter is Scooter from Borderlands. It is. Oh God. Yes. Yes. 
I noticed that. Scooter! Catch a ride! Catch a ride! God damn it. <laughs> you'll, find a, you'll find a pimento taco in the glove box of the boat. <laughs> oh, God! A pimento taco, if you will. A pimento taco, if you will. <laughs> Some friends and I have been, have been playing through so many different playthroughs of, uh, of Borderlands 2. Just keep an eye out for Crazy Earl. He once ate a car once. Yeah, like the whole, the whole car. Black with a fork. Black <laughs> with a fork. <laughs> S- Scooter is best boy in all of Borderlands. I don't care what anyone says. Scooter is probably my favorite character in that game. I don't know. Torg, Torg is pretty wonderful. <laughs> Torg is absolutely wonderful, but no one is as... as- I guess the word to use would be wholesome as as a scooter. True. All right. Anyway, <laughs> Borderlands side adventure. Mm. But yeah, I get back out and uh, proceed to sit back down. Well, how long y'all think that we're going to be in this town taking care of all this stuff? Well, judging from the size of all this, of this entire area and just how densely, densely fucked it is, probably a good while. Let's just say, if you play your money right, there's a chance that you could retire before we're done with the place, in my opinion. That would be nice. But I've been retired for a little bit longer than I'd like to be. And I wouldn't mind getting back to work. Just curious, how old does your character look? Hmm... Probably like early 30s. So an early retirement. Yeah. Well, probably he he probably looks a bit older, but some of it is from alcohol. And being a sailor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's been a couple. I don't know. Mm. Want to say about mm, eight months or so now that I haven't been regularly sailing the seas. Kind of, kind of itching to get back to it. I can tell she. Eyeballs his wet clothes. Fair. What would you two do if you retired? Not really Father now. Jed's past the age of retirement. Like he's there's a point in which you retire, and then there's a point in which you just say, "Nah, man, I'm working for the rest of my life." I mean, well, not for those reasons. That's basically it. <laughs> He's a Fair. holy man on a holy mission, and there's no retirement holy missions, you know. I wouldn't know. I'm not much of a holy man. I did know one. He's gone. But I did know one. He did never seem... He never seemed like he was going to stop doing, doing his thing. Then he goes quiet. And so he was quiet. And there was much rejoicing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. And on the way back, four crocodilians attack. No. <laughs> oh, good. Finally, people stop talking to me. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> and he just would not be quiet. All right. I tell you what. Here. Yeah. Father Jed's here to bring the propane. <laughs> With the power of my stand. No. Hank Hill for Smash 2020. <laughs> Hank Hill for Smash. <laughs> I feel like that should have been a skin for one of the characters in uh, Project I mean... Melee. And if it wasn't, I'm very disappointed. I it mean, people not. made a uh, people made a uh, me fighters of it. Mm-hmm. Only thing he was missing was a way to throw a propane tank. Yep. All right. So you guys get back into town. Slam Very disappointed Lord. that we don't have a new boat. A little bit. So while they were moseying along back home, uh, Adelaide has already, like... Turned it in. But made a show of it. Like, yeah, we're the newbies in town, and we turned in the Packmaster. Yeah, so you you go back to the, uh, to the front checkpoint to turn in the quest. <laughs> And just like all like the uh, the scout hands, just like look at you when you go by, like they just look at you, look at whatever they're holding, and then they look back. And it's like holy shit! They double, <laughs> they like, do a double up. take. <laughs> Car- yeah, exactly. Been doing a double take because you're carrying a gigantic head and a and a heart that's like twice the size of your fist. Just. Walking through town, staying alive, playing just as I—I I would have like <laughs> yeah. packaged it, you know. You can't tell by the way I move my while I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. I mean, there's a reason why she wanted to do the pack masters because it was a hard one. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you you go to the uh, main uh, army scout tent and you deliver deliver the goods. And you just kinda look at it, it's like Where's the rest of your group? They're taking their time getting back. So they are alive. Yes. Okay. I was going to mark him down as possibly murdered by the fate chick. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. Since I'm the one who carved him up, I really wanted a bath, so I wasn't about to spend hours upon hours covered in viscera. I suppose I can understand that. Can anybody tell me what the bounty was for? How much money? Yeah. Uh, one second. A A billion gold. 30,000 gold. 30,000 gold for the Packmaster. Mm -hmm. Boom. Good thing you figured it out, because I didn't remember any talk of money at all. (laughs) Uh, I I never take notes. Thank you, Crystal. It's been a while since I've taken notes for any game, so... It is greatly appreciated. So... Um... You are given a... Basically a receipt um, that is good at any uh, 
U.S. federal bank to withdraw basically any amount. Mm -hmm. uh, congratulations on taking my receipt, mm -hmm. or is it the group's receipt? The group's receipt. Gotcha. Go ahead, test our luck. <laughs> test our patience. <laughs> let's, let, let, let's see how this works. I don't okay. know what you're talking about. I was just clarifying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Remember, bitch, I ain't no holy girl. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, I was slipping through the, uh, through the swamp encounter table, and this is one of them. Hey, hey, <laughs> Billy Handfish and Halflin. That, that's called it. noodling. It's called a what? Noodling. Noodling? Yeah. It, there is, uh, some people call it noodling. <laughs> that's no, great. Sure. I love it. Um, wow. I will get myself cleaned up. Um, I'm sure I've got hours before anyone gets back, so I will go drinking. All right. But like, um, not drunk drinking, just casual drinking. A uh, a like group of like three, clearly like mages, but in like standard issue like military uniform, kind of collect the head and the heart, and like as you're walking away from the tent, you, see, <laughs> you hear like this ear piercing like scream like noise like 10 minutes after you leave and like you turn back and you just see like this like quick pillar of light reach up towards the sky and then fizzle out they did the thing they did the thing cool wait what uh, it, was, it was a ritual to make sure that um, the pack master did not rise again okay yeah. <laughs> and then anyone who asks, <laughs> if you like, yeah, kill the pack master. It was easy. <laughs> it was. It was kind of easy. It was very easy. But I think I think we had good teamwork, a good plan, and a couple of good rolls. We had the strategy. And we had the net twenty. The so. fact that yeah, the fact that he did like eighty something plus yeah. damage in a single roll definitely helped. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. Because and actually, I, I would have done more, but I didn't realize that it automatically did an extra one d eight because it was a fiend mm -hmm. or undead. Because I didn't power. realize that. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So it was possible I could have done like an extra like sixteen damage or so. It's fine. But it's cool. It's fine. We we killed it either way. Died. It was there like were... if it got to its turn, it was gonna start like eating corpses and then spawning more. It would have been cool to see, to be honest. Very. Well. But if they just spawn right time. next to it, then fireball. Maybe that was just the baby, and there's a mama somewhere mad. Oh mama god! Master, you better hope not. <laughs> you just gave him ideas. No. I'd hope I did, because then that just means it's another session or two we're going to have this game. Yeah. It's okay. The Butcher's next on the list. Oh. <laughs> All right. And then above that, it's the Assassin. Ooh. Oh. No, thank you. Um. At one point, during the uh, boat ride, like probably while like Casius and Father J Jad or whatever fuck uh, end up talking, or, yeah, basically, um, mm -hmm. end up talking or getting distracted by something. She would have made her way down uh, to talk to the two crewmen of the boat, complimented them on their boat and their uh, survivability, and mentioned that they wanted. To they had the option not to, uh, not to travel with them, but they wanted to make sure they made it back safe. 
like a firm squeeze of the shoulder in a very <laughs> reassuring way. Truly reassuring. I roll insight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll roll deception. No, but she's she's trying to be deceptive. I guess you could say, um, but she's trying to appear good nature and a good person. Fair enough. And just you know, the politeness and charismatic part of her is trying to stay in good favor with them if we want them, you know, maybe next time it's a lower rate. Maybe next time I don't know. Stuff happens on the bayou. And maybe they want to flex about their abilities or something to her because she's a woman talking about protecting two men. I don't know. Who? The yeah, two. You, you've lost the, Ian. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Just don't worry about it, Ian. Wait, who? Like the boatman or? Yeah, Jen? the boatman. Oh. I said I went down and talked to the boatman to uh -huh. mention to them that we could have not needed their transport on the way back and that we chose to ride back with them to ensure their safety after she had complimented them on their boat and their survivability and their whatever. Oh, well, thanks. Real appreciate that. Uh, if you ever need us to drive you out there again, like we'll be willing. I know y'all got that weird teleporter thing that I don't quite understand, but if you ever want to use that next time, just let, let us know. And we won't hang around no longer. But thanks. We're real proud of our boating capabilities. And we got boatmen in our name. The boatman clan's been producing a long line of professional boatmen. And you're sure that you you guys are capable of... I mean, I could tell the boat can handle a punch. But what if we wouldn't have rode back with you and something attacked? Oh, uh, we would have figured it out. We are a, uh, we are experts at the, uh, ancient art of running the fuck away from most dangerous things. Do not thought... doubt our ability to shake off some kind of nasty pursuer. Billy comes out of the bottom of the boat and is just like, yeah, one time we were chasing, we were being chased by these two big old fucking crocodiles. Not the crocodilians, but like, regular old crocodiles and well I mean we're still here so clearly we got away from them. it's pretty much the same thing do I feel like they truly are just the people that will <laughs> cut and run or that they might have any type of prowess in their <laughs> absolutely MLA? will run away if they can okay okay so you know, know they've got guns they can fight back but from what they're saying, they would prefer to run and are quite adept at running away, at least according to themselves. But they appear to be better at running away than fighting back? Probably. Okay. We will definitely be asking for your services in the future. Like, if I had to put mechanics behind it, which I haven't, I'll probably say they could take with the dodge or disengage as a bonus action. Cool. Hmm. It's impressive. They're not even rogues. Or are They're they? that good at running away. I can disengage. You're a ranger. Sure. Count. Ranger is not a class. It's a way of life. <laughs> I guess we uh, 
make her way back. All right, then. Uh, which bar has Adelaide gone to? Um, Giant's Toe is one. Whiskey Creek is another. Um, and I, I think really the nice one. I have 30 gold on me, so it would probably be the lower end one. That's Giant's Toe, I believe. Yeah. Is the lowest. Yeah. Giant's oh, Toe, the, the Whiskey Creek, and the Bull Rush. Yeah. In that order. Giant's Toe is where uh, we met the Cletus family. I'd like to go to the middle one, but I only have 30 gold on me. <laughs> you could go to the bank and take out some money. Actually, before going drinking, she... Um, Let's see. It was 30,000, right? Mm hmm. Divided by four. That's 7,500 each. Um, let's see. Did you take any of the loot that was offered to you? No. She okay. wanted me to um, sell it for. Um. I was draw like three hundred of my share. All right, so you will withdraw three hundred gold pieces. Yeah. From the bank. All right. So at the federal bank that's in town, it's like <laughs> way more well guarded than banks usually are. With uh, U.S. Army soldiers. Mm -hmm. Um, they take your receipt, withdraw the amount you specified, and they hand you a new receipt with the uh, new. So the updated amount that's left in the uh, account. Uh huh. Um. I also then find a place that can send money to places. And I send 150 gold to a place. Mm hmm. Yeah, there are courier systems that get packages in and out of the out, in and out of the city for a cost. Mm -hmm. And then I go drinking. All right. At the cool. middle one. The whiskey creek. Mm -hmm. The boat place. Hmm. That had darts. Yep. All right. What do the rest of y'all do? Uh, like, are we to the place yet? Which place we're we going to? I'm just back to the city the with the boatman. Yeah, you, no, you guys are back in the city. Um, I definitely have my hat of disguise on with the making my hair not glowy and stuff, so I don't look like you know a glowing freak show in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I have no way of ta contacting her. Um, we could go see if she's back at the house. She did say she wanted to get a bath. She might still be there. Was I there when she mentioned to drink? Just curious. Uh, you were all there. When, before I mm -hmm. disappeared with the teleportation thing, I uh, was talking to Kazrius, and I said, well, hurry up, because you're buying the first round. Which I've already started, but, you know. Well, we would definitely head to the house first, because I would still assume that you'd be waiting for us at the house. Yeah. So we go to the house. All right, then. If she's not there, I'm still taking a shower myself. And I would look at Casarius and be like, yo, you dumped in that swamp water. You definitely need a shower, my dude. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm gonna take a shower. I would have mm. left note of where I was going. I guess we see the note. And, uh... What time yeah, of day is it? Or night? It's approaching evening. It's approaching... Evening. evening. So would stores and stuff be closed? <laughs> what few businesses are still running in the city? Yeah, you know, like the stores, where, the general stores where you'd go to resupply or maybe sell what you found to them. Mm -hmm. Would they be still open? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Aaron's camera just randomly refreshed and she's not there. <laughs> I was like, that's his chair. <laughs> oh, it's I a chair would... stream now. We'd see that she's at the giant's toe from the note. Um, Middle one. Bull, or right. Whiskey Creek. Uh, the Whiskey Creek's the good one, I thought. No, the Bull Rush is the upscale one. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I have returned. We can tell. Matt. But, uh, is the it. is the stores is there a store on the way to the bull rush? We'll say sure. Okay. Or at least it doesn't take you very far out of the way. I thought she went to a, the Whiskey Creek. I meant she the did. Whiskey Creek. Uh, that's yeah. what I meant. The Whiskey Creek. Um, I'm trying to figure out where the bank is and where the store is, and like, is there a path to where? I can go to the store, sell the items I need to sell, while they go get her, and we meet up at the bank and get my money. But, I mean, you don't have to do that. And I wanted to see if the, uh, the like, healing tent, if they were uh, still there, just or if they were on the way, so I could ask them a couple questions. The who? Where where they've got all the uh, healers in the Alan town? Church. The church. Yeah, the church. Yeah. The Cthulhu? <laughs> the, no. the, the Cthulhu. The Cthulhu? The Cathedral. Cathedral. The Cartulu. I just said Cthulhu, and my phone thought I said, hey, Google. <laughs> Google, great old ones, basically the same thing. <laughs> Hey, Google. <laughs> I was like, why did my phone activate? Because I'm listening to ASMR on it. <laughs> Just like... Oh, it sounded like I said that. Okay. Hey, Cthulhu. <laughs> Play ASMR noise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently Just, like, listening to... Just like whispers. The sound oh, yes. Scissors. Elder J S M R. But yeah, are the things along the way, DM? Um, the cathedral will put you out of the way of the uh, Whiskey Creek. Mm. Well, then I will not go that way. I mean, if we separate and you want to do it discreetly, you can you know, go ahead and do your thing. Perhaps on the way back of getting drunk. Um, I don't feel right being sober. Have you not been drinking on the boat this entire time? Yeah, I have been, but uh, I drank. I drank a lot. But I sobered up a little, little quickly after I swam I in the water. I will be right back because I have food arriving and I have to pee. Okay. Well, I mean, I can right. do the whole um, stopping by the store to drop off these items while yeah. she's gone. Um. 
you can come with if you want, Kazarus, or you can go sure. ahead and uh, catch up with her if you want to. Doesn't matter to me. Nah, I'll go with in. I'll go in with you. See what all they got. Might as well. Cool, 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 cool. I don't know where Father Jed is. He's not here right now, is he? I like, am. Okay. He is Did walking. You, are you coming with us to the store, or do you want to go ahead and meet up with Adelaide so we can try get and reconvene money. at the bank and get our money? If you go ahead uh, and get her, we can head to the bank when we're done with here. This is true. We'll probably, Yeah, he'll probably go ahead and do that. Cool, cool, cool. I he went to go get out of lane. Um, I will walk into the uh <clears throat> whatever store that I have come across, or I will look for a store to walk into. Okay, there's like a uh, probably the best bit would be like an antiquing store. Mm -hmm. All right, or like some like not a general goods store, but like some of the deals and. Knickknacks and such. All right. I guess um, we're going. An appraisal of the items that you found. Um. The plain items that you found are. Each worth about twenty five gold pieces, and they'd be willing to sell them to you for that price. Mm -hmm. Whichever okay. ones you're willing to actually sell. I know the polished wood figurine and the fur handkerchief for sure. Oh, uh, did yeah, they say? Gonna... Go ahead. Oh, I'm gonna sell the goblet and the uh, pitcher as well. Okay. Anything so, about the uh, ivory locket or the bloodstone for these small mirrors are still mundane? Yeah, they're all mundane. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll sell it. I don't fucking need this shit. I'll sell it all. So I gotta give her 50 gold. Um. I'll side-eye Casarius and then I'll pull out the creepy evil sword. Would you guys know anything about this? Or do you know someone who might uh, would? Uh, <laughs> that's or a, if you know a weaponsmith that might be... That's a gnarly be. looking weapon you got there, miss. Yeah, I found it. It's really, really odd. Uh, hmm. I'm just trying to figure out anything I can about it. Looks pretty old. If you're not familiar with weapons, um, do you mind directing me to someone who might be? She says in her sickly sweet voice. I just imagine the shopkeeper now has a blank stare every time DM <laughs> is looking up stats. <laughs> no, he just like his he just, his face just kind of goes like he just like he just had a stroke, but you hear the dial up noise. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, hold on, I check about seventy Magic years too early. Match got him price checker. I'm back. Father Jed went ahead to meet up with Adelaide. Cool. To get us to meet up at the bank. Or reconvene at the bank. Um, the shop gives you the name of the local ar of one of the local arcanists that would probably probably be interested in any sort of magical items that you find. Mm -hmm. Okay. How far away are they from the bank? And from us. And yeah, and from us. <clears throat> I 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> because I don't have the entire city laid out. We'll yeah. say... Ian. We'll say it's a fair distance away. Sounds like uh, something we can do tomorrow. I guess. And the uh, the river wizard shop. Okay. The river wizard. River wizards. I imagine river. we're like on the bay side, and it's actually on the river side, or something. Pretty You're much. A river wizard, Harry. <laughs> I'm a what? <laughs> Oh, shit. What'd you call me? What'd you call my mama? I'll have you know that my mama slash sister won't take kindly to that. I will wrap the sword up. Um, Again, you know, and put it back on my back. All right. And I guess we head to the bank. Yeah. To do what? You have no receipt. We're meeting up to with because Father Jed is going to get Adelaide and taking her to the bank. Okay. This is true. It is. I'm known. just. I'm also assuming that the note said that she already cashed out and everything. So that's that's the premise I'm working on. Um, if we don't know that she's already cashed out, nope. Just I says, guess. just says, I'm at this place drinking. Then I guess we wouldn't even have done none of that then. Oh, yeah. We would have probably just gone to the Whiskey Creek after that then. All right. So, Father Jed, you get to the Whiskey Creek to meet up with Adelaide. Yeah. Well, take it away. Oh, okay. I was still a little shook for me poking at his emotional baggage. I uh, I think so. Uh, I I assume I walk in like is is Adelaide like noticeable or she's kind of somewhere amongst one of the tables. Please, Adelaide is always noticeable. <laughs> Dang, Faye. Sorry, Kayla. It's okay, I'm not paying attention. He's looking for you in the, uh... Yeah. It's not gonna be hard so to find So is she me. obvious? Or is she not obvious? For him to see. It's not gonna be hard. Because she right. can sit still and no one notices her. So I'm that just is trying, true, to, but just yeah. trying to see. Is she yeah. obvious? Is she at least attempting? Oh. It's, it's, I have not attempting to hide. So no. <laughs> <laughs> it's only when I'm attempting to hide can I hide in plain sight. Okay. She is wanting to be found. More like not hiding. Because I'm in but, a pot. Yeah, Father, yeah, Father Jez is going to sit right next to her. Made it back. Well, took you so long. Then we'll... We took showers. <laughs> Just like I mean, you know. yeah. We were kind of covered in blood, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> aside from aside from that, they want to take the scenic route. I don't know why. Prob. Probably so that, uh, uh, definitely not looking at her name. Yeah, definitely, so that, probably, definitely not so that Iris could probably just prod into people's personal business. Just. I mean, she could do that anywhere.
You know what? I think I need a drink too. <laughs> Either way, after this, after this drink, we all want every, the others want to want to all meet up next to the bank. No, we don't know that she has her uh, her thing checked out, so we want to get get her bounty because she uh -huh. didn't tell us that she got that stuff. Well, actually, yeah, I guess that would be another, the next thing. Like. Also, you turned the bounty yet? Yeah. I'm not going to hang on to a head and a heart for too long. Ah, good. Because, yeah, the others, the others are getting a little impatient for their cut. Hmm. I don't know if I entirely trust Kazrius with this receipt, so... I think either you and I should handle the money. Yeah, well, the the well, banking part. I mean, they've already seen my face, so. I mean, to be perfectly, perfectly honest, if they're if they're all getting their own money, I'd say they're probably they're probably adult enough to be able to to handle it on their own. I mean, the this, and she holds out the receipt that has. <laughs> two, two, what was it? 30,000? 20? It says 29,700 on it. It's like yeah. this receipt. Oh, okay. So, oh, so they didn't hand it out in cash or anything? Hmm? Oh, no. I actually just kind of thought the bounty was just going to be hand, handed over in cash or something. No, we get the cash from the bank. What do you think? They're going to just have 30,000. Gold just sitting around? That's not in a bank? The bank is armed, right. man. Hmm. We each get 7,500, so. <laughs> well, finish your drink and let's go. Yeah. Well, are we waiting for them to arrive? Oh, we don't we're, know going, that. we're going to them at the bank. We don't know about the bank. We just, don't, we let's think. just move on. Let's, let's go just meet at the bank. Oh. <laughs> no, you guys don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, I you want you guys bank. to be wandering around the city for the next three hours trying to find each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Scooby Doo that's, that's the next encounter. Yeah. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Well, whenever Iris sees Adelaide, because we're probably there at the bank first, and we're just mm -hmm. kind of leaning against the outside wall, she would have thrown her fifty gold because she is trustworthy with with money. And if she says she's going to split the loot, she's going to split the loot. Just because she's a bad person doesn't mean that she doesn't know survivability. I feel like just because she's a bad person doesn't mean she's more untrustworthy. Than be, because literally she did not care about the loot in the house. So, um, but I thank you for it. I will add that to my inventory. She is just. I'm saying it is an opportunity for Adelaide to see that she is trustworthy with thirty thousand dollar written thing. And she's not going to just cut and run. You don't know that I find you untrustworthy with it. I said Casrius. I know, I know that, but... Kazarius doesn't even know anyways. Yeah. He just assumes I... you guys all trust him. That... Not that he's exactly. untrustworthy. Exactly. Not that he is untrustworthy. Just because he's dressed like a pirate doesn't mean he's necessarily just going to take your money. Well, before the bank closes, how much do you want of your share? Did you, get, uh, did you get it in platinum or did the they is it in gold? I took out gold. Do we uh need I mean I don't think it's smart to carry around seventy five hundred worth of coin. No. Not at all. That's why I can do the bookkeeping for us. Oh Does it... you guys could have or you I was can gonna open up your own accounts. Divvied out into separate accounts. Yes. 
Yeah, I was gonna ask if that was a thing we could do. Yeah, could whenever, be, yeah, like, yeah. I was gonna ask the teller whenever we. Yes. The receipt is made out to the members of your adventuring group, mm -hmm. like your allotted. It's to our party, and then from there yeah. we can be like, mm -hmm. "Hey, I'd like to open an account." <sighs> well, I just like let's to go stand that, in well, line. Yeah. My character would like to start an account with 5000 in the bank. I'm just going to put all my 7500 in the account. Well, my character plans on having a good time tonight, so... 5000 in the bank. 2500 Have a good time. I still... I've still got 1,100 GP. I'm good. Nice. I can have plenty of fun with that. Yeah, Jed's just going to leave all of his in the uh, in the account, too. All right, so we make four separate accounts, and you mm -hmm. each individually figure out how much you have in the bank and how much you have on you. Done. 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 You know what, Ian? You're not a part of this. He okay. is the bank well, teller. He's doing the... <laughs> so I'm I joking! I'm okay, okay. and we'll just put all the money in the account, and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Oop, it disappeared. <laughs> Whoops, it's just gone. It didn't make it. What's that? <laughs> the ceiling collapses on you all, and you're dead? <laughs> well, my friends, I'm not the storyteller. So let's go brag about it. Fair enough. I know the perfect person to tell. I I don't think I've seen him yet. You know, he's probably off at... Guy. Yeah, he's probably at the bull rush. It's the, the, the place to be. Well, let's go there. Then. Yeah. First round's on me. Yep, sure is. I'm going to go to the bull rush. All right. Sure enough, Eve Sterwin is still at the bull rush, <laughs> seemingly not to have, uh, not having moved from the. Uh... <laughs> uh, he was not there this morning when we talked to him. He was out and about. Because we did try to go talk to him. That, seemingly yeah. to have not moved. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like you just missed him somehow. Yeah. He was so yeah. stealthy. He has that ranger ability that whenever he wants to not be seen, he can do it as well. Look, the, yep. DM, the DM decided to go back and erase that part of time that where he wasn't there, so he was. Yeah, I'm actually uh, King Crimson. Yep. It just works, guys. I, too, make no sense. <laughs> <laughs> it just works. It just works. <laughs> My character oh, wants some really, really good whiskey, and then she goes to the... Uh, the table to play cards again with Evie or CB, whatever his name is. I can't remember. I'll get some nice rum and see what the others want. All right. And whatever they want, I get and buy it for them all. Cool. And then, once we've got them all, I go over to Eve, and I begin recounting our tale. Oh, good eye, mate. Good eye. How's your, uh, how's your uh, little game going on over here? Sorry. Because I'm assuming he's playing a game right now. Uh, my character would approach the table if there's an open seat to play cards. Currently, yeah. there is not. Okay. Unfortunately. 
killed any crocodilians today? Ah, uh, dozens. See, see, we we killed a couple crocodilians, but we also took down the pack master. Oh, are you fucking serious, mate? Yeah. You took down the pack master. Pretty easy too. He well, was hiding out in this town. He was stuck inside this barn kind of thing, and he had minions roaming all over town. But we were able to get them all in one place, take care of them like that, while the pack master was trapped inside his old barn by a wall of fire. Then he jumped out. And these pretty ladies over here took right good care of him. Not gonna lie, didn't think you had it in you. Guess you all proved me wrong. Good to see. Any more luck on uh, finding your big crocodile? No, nah, but I'm now I'm getting close. Let us know if you need any Every help. Every day brings me a step closer to that. That right bastard. Hmm. If you need any help, just let us know. I think I will. You all seem to be able to prove to handle yourselves. So, uh... Hey. Could actually be worth, uh... Worth the help. We'll be around. And I'll just continue. I'll I'll watch the game. I want a table that's open if this one's not. So would, what was that? What was that, Crystal? <laughs> I said I want a table that's open if this one's not. I would have a uh, bid. Irvin, Sturvin, whatever his name is, a good day. <laughs> Told him I really wish I had the chance to take some more money from <laughs> another table. All right, um, you're able to find a table that is that has an open slot. <laughs> and you, if you would like, can. Roll a. Mm. I have proficiency with cards. Yeah. And I'm doing it based off my charisma, like bluffing and stuff like that. I'm not trying to cheat. I'm just trying okay. to play well. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can uh, make a charisma check and add your proficiency. Um. Okay. Basically the same thing for everything. Okay, so over the course of the next while, while you don't clear house, you do do real good in the game and make a steady profit. What, what was your uh, buy-in? Oh, I was going to put in at least a thousand. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. High stakes. I was, I was here for a good time. High stakes poker game. Gotcha. Mm hmm all right, then. We just got paid, man. A thousand ain't nothing. I mean, she's not wrong. Yeah. And this time, the father yeah, will actually drink. Uh, since, since it's a, uh, <laughs> evidently a high-stakes game, um, make three more checks. Okay. Hmm. 
18 is the average, I think, just about. Mm -hmm. Round it up, 18 is the average. All right, you make 1,500 in profit, and you piss off two very burly men. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm not that puny looking myself, so she's definitely going to have a sheet eating green on her face. Like, if you want to go, <laughs> we can go outside. <laughs> Appreciate the money, sweetheart, and she'll wink at him. <laughs> um, he looks like he's about to start like a yelling match with you. Um, before oh, one of the uh, before one of the other men at the table just like weighs his hand and just like back off. It ain't worth it. No point in starting a brawl over a few gold pieces. I would assume those who did high stakes poker was either good at it or had the money that it wouldn't matter if they'd lost. She's staring directly at him while she's saying it. <laughs> Bork. And she's crazy. using her sickly sweet voice that's like... No, this is not me being an asshole. <laughs> talking. What are you? What are, why are you so upset? I'm not talking down to you. She's calm. She's not raising her voice. She's being as much of a bitch as she possibly can. I guess you would say. <clears throat> uh, the other man at the table just kind of waves off the guy who you're antagonizing. It's like mm -hmm. just go to the bar. Get a drink and calm down. Let's see. Where's the right artwork? There we go. Ooh. Yeah, and she's definitely uh, looking at her knight in shining. Not so much a knight. <laughs> she's like, dude, I'm doing it in quotations and sarcasm. <laughs> her cowboy in shining boots. spurs? Spurs. <laughs> Oh God! It's okay. I see you, Ian. I see you. I see you, and I raise you. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what do I owe the pleasure? Uh, who do I owe the pleasure? Excuse me. The name's Elijah. I don't think we had the pleasure when you sat down at our humble table. Iris. Iris. Couldn't help but over here that you all dealt with that pack master. Tough yeah, beast. An interesting beast, for sure. Really? Out of curiosity, what made it so interesting? Never had the pleasure of laying eyes on it myself. It was an, think of the mangiest, most malnourished dog you've ever seen. Times its size by 15. And put a small cage around its body. Hmm. Well, sounds positively dreadful. I don't know if we gave it a kindness killing it or if it actually wanted to live like that. Well, with the beasts out in the wilds this time, I don't think kindness is a factor that anyone's really considering. I might say that killing it in any form of way is a kindness to it. 
kindness to these people, maybe. Kindness to my pocket, definitely. Oh, I don't doubt it. 30,000 gold pieces. Were you not interested in the target yourself? I'll have to set my sights high. How high? High enough. We'll be going after the assassin soon enough. After that, we'll be headed for the hangman. But some of these boys that I'm running with are a little soft. Need to sharpen them up first. I so heard right they were now so... we've been dealing we've been dealing with a few spawning pits. The undead hordes, is that what you're talking about? Hmm? Undead hordes, monstrosities, the like. Nothing really specific. Just find clumps of malformed, fleshy masses that just seem to spit out creatures every now and again. Gotta take some holy fire to them. Uh, Iris would kind of like turn her head towards the father because she's not trying to like toot her holy horn because she'd rather not. And but she'll she, definitely toot his. Yeah, she'll, she will. Uh, it's always good to have holy fire with you or a decent tracker, and she'll point Adelaide <clears throat> and then she'll point to Cassius. But it doesn't help to have a boatman. In the swap seat. Certainly makes things quicker to get to. I can always appreciate a good sailor. It's not the only thing I can do. I have a very... <laughs> a, <laughs> I have a, a very, very solid teammates. That's for sure. A good crew. That's good. People you can trust and can rely on to get the job done. <laughs> she tries worth. not to wince at the people you can trust part. Group like, like that's worth its weight in gold. Captain doesn't abandon his shipmates. I'd watch it with the boat analogies, because isn't it the captain goes down with the ship? True. But I don't have my own boat right now. That's a shame, I guess. I don't know. Where's your crew at? She kind of like glances around the room. Only a few of us here right now. The rest of us are spread about. Was one of them the not guy everybody the has a, Not everybody has got a taste for hoity-toity bars or lounges like this. Although it's not so hoity or toity now. Not with the current clientele. Don't worry about Brutus. He just uh, get a little bit of temper every now and again. Well, that's why I'm here. Part of the reason why. I hate to admit it when people of my crew need adult supervision to keep them from going ape shit. But once we're out on the field, everybody's nice and professional. So they don't go ape shit out on the. What was his when... name again? Only when I need him to. Elijah. Who, the big guy or the guy you're talking to? Guy I'm talking to. Elijah. Elijah. Yeah, 
He will also uh, introduce his group as the Bloodhound Gang. Oh, God damn it. He's the leader. Really? <laughs> no relation to the band. Oh, I'm Just fucking an sure. FYI. I'm fucking sure. Aha. Uh -huh. He's uh -huh. the leader, right? He is. He, yes. He says he's the leader. He says he's the leader. Do I believe that he's the leader? You can make an inside check. I mean, I believe he's the leader. <laughs> Does Iris believe he's the leader? Also, the uh, in the picture, he's got the red eye. He actually has a, like, what would normally be like the white part of your eye is like completely black, and then the, uh, the iris is solid red. Seems to glow. Hmm. He doesn't it seem to just... be given... Oh, he's hmm? a robot. Go ahead. No, oh, um, he doesn't seem to be given any indication that he's lying. Okay. Does his eye seem? Is just his eyes glowing, or is there something in place of his eye that's glowing? It's like a total eye replacement for his left eye, and it does seem to glow softly. He's from the future. <laughs> Future. In the future. Future. I'd love to hear more about um the assassin or the hangman, to be honest. I've only just recently gotten here. Make a charisma persuasion check. See if your tone is just the right kind of sweet to get him to spill any sort of info about the uh, about his targets. Too bad it's not intimidation or you know <laughs> something I'm good at. <laughs> you can try to intimidate him. No, I'm not. I just do persuasion. Oh damn! She's not trying to intimidate him because she is slightly attracted to him, <laughs> and it is obvious she's not trying to hide it. Mirroring body language, leaning in, everything. <laughs> Before he goes on, uh, one of the other guys at the table is like, uh, don't we have a game? It's like, how about you get up and go to the bar? <laughs> <laughs> and the guy, who is clearly not a member of his gang, just kind of looks... And then he slowly <laughs> gets up <laughs> and walks away. Yep. <laughs> I proof. <laughs> Iris definitely approves. I don't know if 22 is good enough to get him to... The assassin... Is a uh, tall, lanky fellow. Seems to be able to shift around into a writhing mass of insects if the reports are right. Usually operates at night, doesn't seem to light bright places. So it tries to stay indoors during the day. But when it's nighttime, those swamps are his. Not a whole lot of people get back, and the ones who do tend to have horrible scars. Missing limbs, even. Nasty stuff. Solidary creature? Generally. Although, from what I hear, it doesn't really need anything else. It can make temporary copies of itself. Out of its writhing masses. But supposedly, the more copies it makes, the smaller it gets. Yet slower. As for the hangman, well, 
It's not so much creature as it is a sentient tree. Seems to be corrupting the local uh, flora in the area. And anything that gets too close to it, it reaches out with vines and strangles the life out of them. The reports for the hangman are a little inconsistent as to whether or not it's completely stationary or more of a uh, corrupted tree ant or the like. So we're going to be scouting it out before we actually take it on. Seems like you have your hands full. Keeps me busy. Which is good. What's that saying about idle hands and the like? They do the devil's work? I almost said something, and I'm glad that I <laughs> I, I almost popped back with something. And I, I hate that <laughs> phrase it's, because it's a metaphor for something. <laughs> Nope, not gonna do it. So, what about you all? What's your next plan? We have someone we report to. I'm sure he'll want to talk either tonight or tomorrow. I hope not tonight. I'd hoped to have other plans. And she looks him up and down. Being as obvious as possible. Sounds like yep. this. Sounds like this. I'm like, is this what allosexual people are like? Nope. <laughs> nope. I would never in a million years be like this. I'd be too scared to do this. <laughs> nope. You see, there, there's people, there's people who who are sexually active, and then there's people who are thirsty. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Two different people. Yeah, believe it or not, there are differences. Yes. Well, hmm. if you happen to figure out those plans, feel free to let me know. In the meantime, I have business I need to take care of. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets up. Thanks for the game. We'll be seeing you around, I'm sure. Anytime. Brutus, we're leaving. Oh, but I just got a new drink. <laughs> Finish it quick. All right, but I won't be blamed for what happens if it ha if that if it happens again. <laughs> now you gotta come up with the backstory for Bruce. Do I? Yes. <laughs> Necessary. We will make it necessary. Uh, and you notice that, like, when he, like, when he, like, gets up and he starts walking, like, he's not, like, completely, like, full hunched over, but, like, he definitely, like, slouches when he walks. He's Great. got, like, a he's very, like, low energy aura around him. Interesting. Great. Oh, Thanks, Oh, he's fucking Azawa. <laughs> no. <laughs> He doesn't, he doesn't look tired. Thank you. That's what unlike, I mm -hmm. unlike Aizawa, he doesn't look like every waking moment is pain. Sure. Because <laughs> if it would have been Aizawa, sorry. Second husband. You know second who? Husband. He's my second husband. So. <laughs> Your third. I told you my third was uh, uh, Molly Mott. Who's the oh. first? Oh, 
Oh god. That one's special. Y'all don't need to know about that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I never I never got that uh, PDF or uh, Google Drive. Oh, you doc. wanted it? Well, I'm just saying, I asked and I never got it, so I didn't know it was number two. I did say he was number two, because you asked. I don't recall the response to that, but, you know, whatever. I missed on it. <sighs> anyway. Anyway, Elijah of the Bloodhound. Elijah and Brutus of the Bloodhound gang get up and leave. I uh, take note of, like, who leaves, because I'm just curious about it. He didn't really kind of point out his gang, so I'm just seeing who it is. Four other people. Smaller than Brutus, about his kind of like size, so- like, but like about like Elijah's like size and weight class. Even even look like they might have been like recognizable, or like they might have been part of her old mercenary group or anything. No, okay. no one that you recognize from the Black Guard. Cool. Oh damn, that's actually a good name for. For a, uh... Stop. For a stand? <laughs> no. Um, I just pull up this other picture. Uh, this is Captain and he says Snake Eater. I was like, ooh, the Snake Eaters. It's a decent sounding name for a outlaw group. Right, mm-hmm. now the song's stuck in my head. Thanks, Ian. You're welcome. Hey, it's always stuck in my head. Welcome to my existence. Uh, Which I literally can't play a video game where I'm climbing a ladder and that song isn't going through my head. Uh, Which song? Snake Eater from Metal Gear Solid 3. Oh. There's a scene in that game where, like, it's a super long... You're basically climbing up, like, a missile silo. Mm. And it's like like a three-minute-long ladder climb. And, like, when you start climbing, it's like the song starts playing. Like, the theme song of that game starts playing. There's literally no reason for it, but god damn it, do we think it's the most awesome thing in gaming. Oh, yeah. It was was a weirdly powerful moment for me. I don't know why. I would have never guessed climbing a ladder could be so powerful. Yeah, not right. It's the power of Hideo Kojima's stand. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if uh, anyone else ends up wanting to fill up the table like any random people want to fill up the table that my character's at. But she would probably play like a couple more rounds of cards and hopefully with new people because say if she cleared them out, they'd probably want to leave or whatever. And she's just telling their story each time. Mm-hmm. Much like Irvin, but a lot better and believable and she actually still plays cards. <laughs> Instead of just folding each time. She's a much better Eve. Right. And she probably would buy drinks for the table that she plays with. At least the first round. Just to get them, you know, get them wanting to spend their money. Hmm. Um, all right. Is there anything else anybody wanted to do? Honestly, not really. Fucking spread the it. word Just and wants get... drink. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like it's to spend the evening drinking. drinking and brooding. Yeah. Brooding. Mm-hmm. So what she usually does. Yeah. <laughs> She's not one to talk much. She's not very forthcoming about herself. And you're busy with your own thing, so. All right. Well, I think we'll leave it there for the night. I know we usually go until 10. However, Alex, you have to work in the morning, don't you? Uh, I do. As do you. Alex gets up earlier than I do. (laughs) I do. You guys are insane. He gets in at 5. I get in at 6. Yep. So what time do you wake up? Uh, About 4.20. A. 
All right. Uh, Plays it. Thanks so much for watching. Did you and not? We'll see Please, you guys did you not? In the next game. <laughs> Yay! Bye. 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 Bye.